So I'm here in the uh, Blue Eye headquarters um, in one of our meeting rooms, much like a meeting room that you probably have in your office. So what I have is a Teams meeting set up and I have our in-water expert, Tron Larson, down on the dock. Uh, the parallel to this is, uh, how about a ship inspection? Uh, you've got your operator on the dock doing the inspection. You've got your regulator or, uh, or stakeholders um, sitting comfortably in the office and everyone gets to uh, give their input, right? This is a live stream. If you uh, want to inspect a certain anode, tell the operator, he can go look at it. Um, so basically what we're doing is just giving you an idea of the way our drone live streams over Teams. Uh, Tron, take it away. Thank you, Jay. How are you? Quite well. How about you? I'm good. I'm uh, here at the harbor of Trondheim. I've lost a cargo strap down in the ocean. So I will use one of the new X3 drones with a gripper to pick up the cargo strap. Uh, to show you what I'm doing, I'm just uh, sharing my screen in Microsoft Teams. Uh, share screen. And you can now see me diving here. I also need a controller, so I will connect to the controller using Bluetooth and I can start diving. What you now see is the, the images directly from the drone. So what I do is I lower this drone using the tether carefully into the ocean. I will then search for the cargo strap and pick it up live on stream with you guys here. And for all of you who are watching, please know that Trond is wearing a life jacket. Yeah. So the first thing I do when I get down in the water is I turn on auto depth and auto heading. That way the sensors on the drone keep the drone at the depth and the direction I want it to go. So I'm just driving down. You can see the bulkheads of the, of the pier. I can turn around, you also see I can tilt the camera down and there you can see the gripper that I'm going to use to pick up this cargo strap with if I can find it. You can see we have about 8 or 9 meters depth here, it's quite an easy pickup if I can find the cargo strap. I can actually see it, Trond. You can? I can. So I'll put on video. This way I can document what I have done. I found the cargo strap. I found where it was. If this was an object that could cause damage to your operation, you can document where it was, if it did any damage. Of course, now that's not a big problem. From anyone who's ever driven an ROV using a gripper, they will know that this can be hard because the field, the camera has a different angle than the gripper. But because this ROV, as in slow motion as I have it now, is so easy to control, I can just head in, clap the cargo strap, and I can start heading back. I turn off slow motion and I can drive up from the seafloor. What I do now is I tilt the camera up to look around. I can see how the bulk is here. Even turn on the light if I wanted, if this was dark. And I start heading to the surface and the job is pretty much done when I get that one up. So folks, think about this for your own use case. Think about this in, in your field. Um, it could be a dropped knife in a fish pen. It could be um, a broken anode that falls off your ship hull. Uh, it could be a rope that um, is floating around behind your prop. Um, sort of any number of tasks can be performed with this gripper. Um, I just always like to make sure that you all put this in, in terms that are going to make sense for you. Since we have so many uh, varied clients from all around the world using these drones um, for so many different purposes, you really just kind of have to think about what's going to be the best use case for you. Yeah, you can now see I have the, the ROV just under me. It's on the surface. I'm just pulling in the tether, so I won't get tangled in that. 
and I'll raise the ROV from the surface using the tether. And I'm going to jump in here again and uh, and sort of let you all um, let you all think about this. Um, the entire time that Tron was uh, doing this job, navigating through the ocean, fine tuning with this gripper, he was talking to us and operating this drone at the same time. Um, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I turn the radio off in my car when I have to parallel park because it's just too much sensory input. The intuitive nature of our ROV makes it such that you can talk and work at the same time. Yeah, and here you can see I can just release the cargo strap and the job is done. So that'll be all from me here on the cargo, Jay. Thanks very much, Tron. We certainly appreciate that. Um, and, and the thing that we want to always take away from this is, is the live stream capability, right? Um, I was able to give my input to Tron, to have a conversation with him, um, even direct him towards the object that we needed to have um, observed, um, the object that we needed to have retrieved even. Um, and furthermore, while Tron is here, he can generate an after dive report giving all the information directly to the stakeholders that need to make a decision. Because as we know, it's one thing to get information, it's another to be able to share that information, and yet a third to be able to make real-time decisions based upon it. So as you move forward in your daily work, I encourage you to think about how the X3 can help you. Thanks very much for your time.